Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so I hope you've been enjoying uh, the uh, examples on the squeeze theorem and all the examples uh, after this, including this one, are super fun. So uh, stay tuned. And uh, of course, as always, I praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And let's get started. Uh, so this is example three. And this example, we're going to look at uh, this limit. Uh, Lim is n goes to infinity of uh, 7 to the n over n factorial. Yeah? Okay. Now, you don't have to use a squeeze theorem to uh, prove this limit or to show what it is. Um, but uh, here, of course, we're using the squeeze theorem. So we need to figure out uh, how to uh, squeeze this 7 to the n over n factorial. But however you think about this, you cannot depart from the following line of thinking, which is that like 7 to the n, right? 7 to the n is uh, n sevens in a product. So that's like 7 times 7 times 7. I'm not going to write uh, too many sevens, don't worry. But I will intentionally write 7 sevens after this because it will help a lot of you understand this. Yeah, so 7 times 7 times 7, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I've got 7 sevens here and three sevens here and a bunch of sevens in between to make n sevens, right? That's what seven to the n is. And n factorial, we've been through this before, but yeah, n factorial is equal to n times n minus one. All right, dot, dot, dot. What's the tail end of n factorial going to be? Uh, in fact, the last seven in n factorial, they're going to be seven times six, times 5, right? Okay. Now, since we have a quotient here, I need to put a division sign here. And as we've already said in previous examples, I could put individual division signs here. Now, notice clearly 7 over 7 is 1. But all the fractions in here are more than 1. 7 over 6 all the way to 7 over 1. There are more than 1. So to make the analysis simple, let's keep these guys. And so that's to say uh, that uh, let's work with this and figure out how to bound this without tampering with this, right? Now, how can we succinctly write this? It's 7 to the 6 over 6 factorial, right? That's what I've underlined here. It's 7 to the 6 over 6 factorial. Let's also keep 7 over n. So I have times 7 over n. Yeah? Okay, so I've kept this, and I've kept all of these guys. This is clearly 1, right? But all of the fractions in here, right, and how many of them is, is there? There's n minus 8 fractions. All of these guys, they're all less than 1 because, like, immediately to the left of 7 over 7 is going to be 7 over 8, which is less than 1. And immediately to the left of it is going to be 7 over 9, which is also less than 1. So the n minus 8 fractions in here are all less than 1. So if we replace all of them by 1, then surely I can say this, which is 7 to the n over n factorial is less or, or equal to this. Why? Because what I've done is I've taken the n minus 8 fractions in here and I've replaced them all by 1 on this right hand side. And of course, I don't want to write 1 times 1 n minus 8 times. I could just leave it alone, right? Uh, whereas this guy here contains these guys that are less than 1. And that's why this inequality is true. So we've now succeeded in finding uh, one way to squeeze uh, 7 to the n over n factorial, at least on the right side. And so let's uh, write that result here. So we see that 7 to the n over n factorial on the right side can be squeezed by uh, 7 to the 6 over 6 factorial times 7 over n. Right? And on the left, 7 to the n over n factorial is clearly more than 0. So on the left, I could write that. Yeah? Okay. So now we want to apply the squeeze theorem because we've managed to squeeze 7, over, 7 to the n over n factorial. And so I go lim is n goes to infinity of 0 is less than lim is n goes to infinity of our guy 7 to the n over n factorial, which is less or equal to lim is n goes to infinity of 7 to the 6 over 6 factorial times 
7 over n. And clearly, this here is 0. So we have 0 is less than which is lesser or equal to, what's this limit? Clearly zero, because as n goes to infinity, this is gonna go to zero. And so we'll have zero times whatever, who cares, right? And therefore, this here by the squeeze theorem is equal to zero, yeah? All right, cool, I hope you enjoyed this. And the next example is even more fun, so keep watching. Take care.